I remember doing the draft for this because we were on the analyst desk. Okay, draw. I okay. So my take here is Jace has a lot of pokes. Sivir can poke and so can Ash. So their siege is good, but I wonder. I worry for their AP damage. I wonder if Razork is going to go first strike to Monarch embrace Liandri's Malkai to make sure that they have some AP damage. Maybe Wunder is going to go more in the AP realm. Uh, but I think they have really good siege. The only thing I'm lacking here is. This is a human their, first time on Jace, by the way. Yeah, their backline is just really easy to dive onto. If Rakan can get onto that immobile Sivir and Ash, I think they're gonna struggle a lot. Uh, sure. But they're yeah, not bad. Okay, sounds about right. Sorry, my it's 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 uh, it's early morning, right? Just woke up. Okay, I just trust whatever I said before. Yeah. Jin looks like a troll pick these days. Yeah, I should have just said it. I actually remember thinking that on the desk. I was gonna say Jin is a dog shit champ. They've already lost, but I didn't say it. I should have just said it. Jin is such a bad champ. Pog, let's go, man. Cajal explaining. XDD left. Yo, look, thanks for the resub. Big kill. Okay, so there's a point in the game where uh, Koi just gets like 10 kills randomly, right? Ah, uh, yeah, they like four man dive. They like three man dive wonder a couple times, don't they? Nice movement. Nice movement from Roxy. Shigenda runs it with a huge lead. Well, I would run it as well if I press tab and saw a G80 carry. Like, what, what a waste of time. Just go fucking open. Go fucking open it. This matchup is good for Gregas. He can just bing chilling. Like it a lot. I actually was surprised that he's playing Jace mid. I haven't seen any Jace mid, but maybe it's going to rise. Oh, look how unlucky that is. Wunder has a little bolo there, but fucking support gap. I saw, I saw Wunder after the game. I walked up to him and tapped him on the shoulder, like trying to scare him. Like, watch out, I'm gonna fucking dive you. Because he got dove so much this game. But this is a little bolo here, isn't it? Just ult, and now he just has to run around him until his E is up, and then E auto dead. Okay, they're only down 3 400 gold right now. This Herald looks pretty. free. Yeah. Maokai E with Jace just seems so OP. Oh, they're both dead, yeah. That was nice engage from Koi. They made some magic. Now they're going to dive top. This guy is absolutely one shot. I can tell you that for a fact. Lost chapter tier, Gregas. Okay. Well, the game is won. 2k gold lead for Koi. Open season for Fnatic. So they get Drake. They herald bot. They got both neutrals, but they're down 3k. Top situation is fine, I think. It's not great, obviously. He's 2k ahead. It's doomed. But the fact that he's playing Gregas means that his champ is always useful. All he has to do is press body slam on whoever goes in and then ult Jin. <laughs> so I guess like gold doesn't matter too much. It's just annoying that the enemy top is fed. Even though he's behind, he should be useful. Game looks hard, but I would never give up if I was fanatic because they have Jin. Wait, is Wunder lane ganking bot? Giga Wunder just lane gank bot. I think they could have got something here, no? Oh, they will get something or what? Nice, big shot down on the sedge. Oh, he wanted lives as well. So good. Yeah, they all live, no? Just run. Okay, now Wunder has to catch top now. I think it might have been worth for Wunder to just TP top there. Right, well, he won't lose as mu that much. I think, yeah, he lost the wave. Hmm, is it worth the TP for the wave? It was a good lane gank by Wunder. They don't really have a choice here, Fnatic. They're so, well... Like, if they are splitting up here and Wunder is sitting on top tier 2, what will happen is... Yeah, if you want to know more about, like, how the game works when they're ahead, what will happen is Jax will push in top and he'll move mid. And then he only has to give up mid tower because Larsen is being back, so mid tower will fall. And then he'll go back top and catch the next top wave. And then they'll do a shift where he will catch the next mid wave, the third one. And then they'll go bot and die bot. So that's, like, the plan that Koi would go for. But if you five-man bot and they have to TP to try and help, then you kind of fuck their whole plan, right? So now once they've done this play, oh, let's go, man. they can base and catch waves and push out, and then they can do the same thing again. Jace has to be careful though. Fnatic just wanna group and fight, group and fight, group and fight. Just ignore everyone else trying to make these solo plays. I trim me just into that. Yo, so many to the prime. <clears throat> Trimmy tried to steal the Herald by auto-attacking the eye in the back. Okay, now they're only down 1k. Because Humanoid got a big shutdown. It's just top lane that's behind. Like, the Jax has to carry, I guess. And Jin is basically down 2k gold because his champ is useless. If you pick Jin, you're basically asking to lose. That's just the law. You know, I didn't write the law. That's just the law. 
Humanoid, the good news is for Fnatic is they can put Humanoid into Shigenda. Now the problem he has is he's gonna get this is gonna happen. But in a straight 1v1, Jace can win. Can. Not will, but can. He has two items. He can just uh just hit on wave and then when he jumps on him you can E him and then he can just slow chase him. He has uh he has a lot of damage and now Wunder will get dove. So they're just chaining thing, uh, they're chain inting bot for this to defend this tier one. It's not good at all. How can they chain into bot like this? Razork's right there. What happened? Oh Razork based? Why is Razork base? Also, where is Rux? Also, where is Ash E? Uh, it's really unlucky. The second the second Razork. This is just unlucky. The second Razork bases, they gone humanoid. If he could just get this wave in while Razork runs from base to bot, then he's forever safe. It's just unlucky timing, really unlucky timing. And then Wunder is TP'd in to defend, which means that someone has to catch top wave, which I guess Razork then goes top, and Reckless, for some reason, is hovering top. But now your person that's TP'd bot to help your person who's on the side lane with no help has no help, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a fucking disaster. So they just into the way two kills. When I think, in fact, they should have just maybe not put Jace down here in the first place. I don't even know why Jace is here. I think Wunder, yeah, Wunder, should, look at Wunder's run, look at Wunder's right clicks. Wunder wants to go bot. And if Wunder goes bot and dies, it's fine. That guy's worth 200 gold. He runs down, and then I think Humanoid says, I'm going bot. And then he goes, okay, I'll go top. But I think Humanoid should be top, and then they should just be trading towers. But <laughs> because they have Herald and Jace, and if they Herald top tier one with Jace, and they're on bot tier one, then uh, yeah, they can get a tier two probably. Oh, they did it here. Perfect. This is exactly what they should have done. This is exactly what they should have done two minutes ago. Or one minute ago. Press Herald for Jace. Jace right clicks top. Anyone shows, they get fucked. While they're hitting bot tier one, you threaten top tier two. Enemy team has to base. And then you make your way to Drake. So Shigenda just TP flanked. I think it's useless though. Oh, that arrow was dog shit. Well, they got the kill at least. Now they just have to base go mid the bot. Wow, I'm surprised that this Jace is so far ahead. He's he's 20 CS down, but he's 1.7k gold up because of shutdowns. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, Fnatic sieging mid. It's good. Their champs are good at standing in mid and pressing spells. It's like a good Aram comp that Fnatic have. Oh, it's crazy, man. Saplings in bushes, Jace QEs, Ash Ws, fucking severe boomerangs, Greg SQs. It's so annoying, man. Fnatic's comp, it's so annoying. It's absolute rat central. Just poke them. Just poke them. Just poke them. Just poke them. Poke, 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 poke. Now here comes a big fight. I mean, they're just too split. Where is Jin? Little bros in Africa freaks. Doesn't even matter. Maokai Gregas just right click forwards and there's no way they can stop them. There's just no way they can stop them. They just right click in the, in the, in the front line. Yeah, Collector Jin ain't it, but I mean, you say that, but they don't even have any armor, so it's kind of fine. It's just they have really high base HPs. Well, now they have Soul Point and Mountain Soul against Koi's champs is, well, a good game well played. So Koi tried to rush Baron because they TP out with Shigenda when they go bot to try to make a pick. And Razork just walks in and takes it. I don't know how that happens, but it happens. I think the reason it happens is because of the Maokai ult, but I also thought Trimby here could maybe go onto Razork to slow him down. Like, he is just running in a straight line and no one is stopping him. Is there nothing they can do to stop him? Like a Rakan ult or something, but I guess they're scared of the Maokai ult. No, I don't think there is anything they can do to stop him. I think Larson just needs to do more damage. Larson just runs away here. It's on 5k and then he just stands there. He should just be hitting Nash. I think they should be rushing Nash there, not just fucking oinking around. I think if Larson tried to rush it down, they would get it. But he didn't. Like, what is he doing? He's just standing there. Standing there, hoping to dodge a skill shot. Just fucking pump that shit, man. Rise, pump. But they should be oiling that Nash. Yo, Captain, thanks for the rhyme. Like, it doesn't matter. Rise should just be spamming spells. It's a rush, not a fucking turn. He can't just stand and hit. Bro, they're rushing Nash. Rice can just Rice can just walk up here and just stand here. And then when he sees him come, then he can run away. But let's 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 see what he does. He does QE, EQ, EQ. He did three EQs. He still has W. 
think he could have just walked up and done more. Even Wing it is fine. Then he hits one more Q, then an E. Nah, I think he could he could fucking he could fucking bullet train that Nash. He could have got like two more spells off, I think, three more spells off, but whatever. It's hindsight. The problem <clears throat> that Rogue have, Koi have, is that when Fnatic have map control, the game is officially over. Like it just is. You cannot walk into their comp. It's impossible. The Drake spouts spawn. There's fucking 400 Maokai saplings around every bush. You walk into it, you're getting absolutely bombed. You can't do shit. You have to find one way to find to get into river. But even through bot side, they can't go in. I guess they got the sapling, so now they kind of can go in. Jax is basing to TP back. Comp position. Look at comp position. He's so split. Nice knock by Trimby, but they don't have any follow-up. And as soon as they go forward, it's like... It's so... Like, what can Jin do? It's so... Uh, it's GG. Triple kill to Sivir and Mountain Soul. That's it. The game's over. Now the game has gotten to the point where... Yeah. Their range is... They're too short range. They have to all commit. So now they have Mountain Soul. As long as Gragas is with Jax... Uh, with Team and can just E Jax when he jumps in, then his, his, his role is done. They start up Nash, and now Koi have to walk into absolute minefield sapling fucking bomba territory. I don't think Rakan getting that ult would change much. I think he was aiming for Rise to stop the ult in the first place, but then hit Trimby out, which I guess it helped a little bit. Mm, it would help with Humanoid for sure. Actually, yeah, it would change a decent amount. You're right, actually. I think if 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 Trimby didn't get knocked out of this, he would be with Larson right now, and Humanoid would be dead. 100% Humanoid would be dead. But instead of going on Humanoid, he gets a double knock. That forces Rux and Shigenda to go forwards. Hmm. I wonder how the fight looks like if Humanoid dies and then they don't commit up this choke. I think they just get soul. Like, uh, they, they deny soul here, Koi. So Humanoid dies. Larson's free. Pog, let's go, man. Trimby doesn't do this. So Shigenda doesn't go I'm in either. My left he goes out. To winning world and then it's a 4v5, but Koi have no ults. I think what'll probably happen is they'll be around here. Then they'll get... Yeah, I think they'll probably get... Uh, like, they'll be low HP like this in a similar situation. And then they'll be chunked out and forced to run away. And they'll probably 50-50 it. Yeah, they have a chance. They have a chance, I think. I think Koi have a chance if the Rakan gets that ult. It was good ult, I wonder. Yeah, the problem they have here is they just don't have time. They're too late. They're too late to contest. And they can't walk in ever. And Fnatic's comp only gets worse when they have Nash. Yeah, I think this is just... There's not much more to say. All they have to do is right-click a tower. I mean, look at this damage. Look. This is one sapling, okay? Watch Larson's HP. He's like, what, 80%? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's nothing that Koi can do. I think Koi realized that if they can set up on their tower and siege, then they're just losing the tower. So they have to fight before they reach the tower. So they all just full send and they just full send into the graveyard. Yeah, good game by Fnatic overall. Early game was a bit tough. I think their cross mapping is quite weak and their like dropping of towers is quite weak. They don't know when to give up and when to retake something. But their comp was really strong and uh, their team fights were, were decent. So.